Good morning everybody, Irish Baker Abroad, Chris over here to Denmark and uh, today we're going to tackle some Danish pastry. So this is going to be the main dough. Uh, we're going to refer back to this anytime we do anything in the future. I'm going to put this link into the into the description or the post and uh, you just take a look at this video. Okay, I'm not going to go into too much detail. Uh, I don't want to turn people off. You know, I want you to feel like you can do this and I want you to do it. And uh, I want you to send your pictures on to me afterwards and uh, let me know how you get on. Okay, but uh, let's get straight down to business. Here we go. Chris's Danish pastry the secret to this dough the secret to getting a good danish pastry dough is uh is keeping everything cold all right so i'm after sticking this water here i put it in the freezer about a half an hour ago it's a little bit icy and uh our flour as well okay so i have 500 grams of plain flour and this has 11 grams of protein in it per 100 grams and i've got 250 milliliters Oh, he's cold water, right? Bowl. 35 grams, fresh yeast into this cold water. Uh, fresh yeast, okay, fresh baker's yeast, if you can get that. Um, you know, I find that the, the dry yeast, it doesn't really get to develop uh, due to the amount of butter. I find that it kind of suffocates the, the dried yeast and it doesn't get to work. Okay, you can still use it, don't be afraid. You just might not get the same result as if you were to use fresh yeast. The ice cold water, it's gonna keep the yeast idle. It's not gonna be able to get to work just yet, which is what you want while you're rolling, okay? So we've got that. We've got uh, sugar here. I've got 45 grams of white granulated sugar. The flour, 500 grams. I've got an egg, large egg. Some salt, 10 grams of salt. And here I've got 50 grams of butter. 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 In you go. Mixer. Hook. We just want this dough to come together. We don't want any resistance uh, from the dough while we're doing the rolling. So we don't want the gluten to develop too much. So it just needs to combine, come together and then we're gonna pack in our butter. 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 All right, that's grand. That took about two minutes. There we go. And that's what it should be like here. That's the consistency. Right. Okay, bit of flour. Dough. Yeah. Little trick to help you spread it. Yeah. Right. Our butter. This has been in the fridge now for about 15 minutes. Right. Pop this down. Okay. Now we're going to do a few little judo chops. Just hit the side here. Okay. Fold it over. Top it down. Turn. Fold it over. Okay, because this is a uh, vertical, I'm gonna do it this way. Bit of flour. Bit on top. I'll do one above as well, so you get a better view. We're gonna do this three times. You want to roll this down to about a centimeter. Brush off any excess flour. I'm just going to trim the ends here. 
we'll use that later for something else. I want to try and get those layers as even as possible inside, okay? So, fold it over once. Excess flour. But I'm just going to wet my hand. The top like that. Pull it over. Right there. Right, that's in. A bit of plastic. We're gonna stick that into the fridge now for about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, we just want to cool the butter down once more. We don't want to break the butter into the dough. We want to keep them separated inside, all right? 20 minutes. Okay, folks, this has had about 20 minutes now in the fridge. I'm gonna take it from above so you can get a better view this time, all right? This was a single fold and uh, we're gonna do two more. Okay, start off with a bit of flour. Dough. Nice and easy. That's in. Easy squeezy. Yeah. Same here. Fold over. Front. I'm just gonna turn it again here once more. This is just to flatten it down a bit to help it to chill a bit quicker. Excess flour, just get rid of it. You don't want it to dry the dough out. There we go. Scrant, back into the fridge, another 20, and we're gonna do the same again one more time. Okay, so that's two single folds, and now we're going to do the last one. Duh. Okay, folks, that is it. That is our Danish pastry. This is our basic main dough, and we're always gonna refer back to this when we do some stuff in the future, all right? Okay, back on the tray. And I'm gonna stick this into the fridge now for about 30 to 40 minutes, and then we're gonna do some pastries. Check that out, give it a go, let me know how you get on, and I'll see you tomorrow.